YouTube, what is going on? This is your boy, Dude Name Chris, here bringing to you my last video of 2017. And this video is ranking and showing all the Yeezy 350 V2s that dropped this year. We have six of them. Let me grab them for you real quick. Six of them. Um, let's get that thumbnail. This is the six pairs that have dropped this year. And let's get into ranking which ones I think are the better, better of the colorways. So number six, I don't think this is really a surprise. This is the Beluga V2. Um, I still think that this is a super, super clean pair. Um, very wearable. Um, it's just kind of a little dull for me, and to be 100% honest with you. I mean, I, I guess you do get the hits of like the, I don't know, the zebra or whatever they call that. It is very, very clean, don't get me wrong. I guess maybe because of the hype, I have it as the last one. Um, but yeah, um, it was a super easy release for, to get them. This is probably the lowest uh, value for a Yeezy right now. So if you need a pair, I mean, nothing really wrong with getting a pair of Beluga V2s. Um, and then continuing, number five, the other recent release, that is the blue tint, and this shoe, though, I'm not going to lie, I love how this shoe looks. Um, it is very clean. I, I've worn it a couple times. I'm about to put it back on ice, and I think this is going to be a very, very good summer shoe. I'm not even going to lie with you. It's a super clean shoe, in my opinion. People say it looks like a girl's shoe. I disagree. Um, it's, a light, it's a light gray. It's I'm trying to remember. It's in between like the white and the belugas on the colorway, but again, super clean. Again, I think this is going to be dope for summer. Probably, probably going to put mine on ice. And speaking of summer shoe, a shoe that I have had on ice forever and I need to rock. That is the creams, the triple whites. Uh, one of the one of the few dead socks uh, I have uh, left in my collection. This shoe, does, again, the, these three resale on them for a dead sock pair, I think it's like 400 something max. Like four, maybe 500, which is pretty low for an easy. You might even be able to get, get some of these in the threes, not even going to lie. But this is the creams. This is the triple whites. Again, I picked up the, these last three. I actually picked up for retail. Super crazy. Um, super clean shoe. I think I'm going to finally bust out this summer. Uh, just been kind of afraid to wear it, not going to lie. But, you know, Crepe Tech got me on these. So, number three, the creams. And I'm going to warn you, these top three right now, you can switch them up and put them however you want, and the list is still good. This is just the way that I see it as far as wearability and rareness, I guess. So without further ado, number three, the semi-frozen. And this shoe, again, I, to me, is a heater. I love how loud this shoe is. And just the simple fact that this is the rarest easy, and the resale isn't that high on it, I think it'll go up only in time. You have the hint right there, the zebra powder, and it's an actually like a navy blue. A lot of people don't understand it's a navy blue. The gum sole, which I actually didn't like, and now that I have them in hand, and actually that I've been wearing them, I love that it's a gum sole. Like I said, like I know this shoe is not for everybody. Uh, it is super loud, but for me, I love it. You just wear like a black t-shirt and then like a black sweats or something, and you pass these on, you're chilling. So again, the semi-frozen is number three on my list. Number two, um, I feel like is easily a number one. Like I said, any of the top three on my list, you can put it as number one. This shoe I actually haven't worn, and it's still number two. It's super clean. It is the bread V2s. I need to wear these. Every time I look at these, I just say to myself, I need to wear these. This is a super clean colorway, all black with the Supply 350. And red, you get the same pull tag. It's literally like the pirate black. It's a shoe that you can wear, 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 and it's not going to get dirty and very rarely show like wear. Like, the only time you're going to see wear basically will be when your sole starts to wear away and then like right here on the boost. Besides that, you're not going to show any wear and tear. Besides, like, if you put holes on the upper. But this is the bread. I actually picked these up, I think, for like $4.50 the, re the day they released it, which now it's like a super still. These are going like in the thousands. I think maybe that's why I'm afraid to wear them. I don't know. But I do need to wear these 100%. Number two, the bread V2s, the pirate black V2s, whatever you want to call them. 
These is fire, man. And so if you're new to the channel, where did I put it? So if you're new to the channel, you might not know what this is, but if you are a subscriber and a watcher, you will know what this shoe is. This is my favorite shoe that I was able to pick up this whole year. Um, like I said, backstory, it's the only easy that I paid way too much for. I bought these when they first released, and then they restocked. The Zebra V2. Um, I, again, this is my favorite shoe that I bought this whole year. It's There's not much more I need to say about this shoe. It is super clean. Um, just super nice. You can wear it with anything black and white. You can dress it up, dress it down. You can make the shoe the center point or not. This shoe, I mean, I did pay way too much for it looking back at it now, but I do love this shoe. This is easily probably my favorite V2. Uh, those are the, see, like the semis, I love the semis too, so I don't know. But this is it. This would be the number one Yeezy 350 V2 that released in 2017. Um, I want to know what you guys think of my list and how I rated them and how you guys would rate them. Comment down below. Um, again, hopefully you guys have a great New Year's today. Hopefully you guys have a great 2018. We're going to go together. We're going to go to 2018 together and grow, baby. So, again, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to keep up with me on the channel, hit the subscribe button. Um, again, happy 2017. Let's open up tonight with 2018. Until next time, this is your boy, new name Chris. Have a good one.